Instead, let's use creativity as the true driver of sales and ROI that it is. Um, let's all take a page from Crispin Porter's approach. Um, they come up with hundreds of ideas, and then their belief is that they throw them at the wall like spaghetti, and if they stick, great, if they don't, throw more spaghetti. And it doesn't have to be expensive either. The real answer here is to try and learn something new. It's the only way to responsibly succeed, by taking risks. The sure thing sure isn't. Jim? So I, uh, of course, I'm the, I have to play the typical role of client from a bank. Uh, and so I would start with, with the focus on marketing and effectiveness. And I, I think the, the discussion gets to the area of creativity, but needs to start, from my perspective, from what it is that we're charged with as people running marketing for a large client organization. And not surprisingly, the, the, uh, the focus on proving or identifying the effectiveness of the marketing spend is, is only increasing these days given the pressure generally of business results. And so the idea that marketing effectiveness uh, can't be an oxymoron isn't to suggest that those in the marketing community haven't been focused on trying to get a good handle on the return on the marketing spend. It's just that we all recognize it's a challenging task to, uh, to apply. You know, we do uh, work with, with Nebo and ourselves, and I think that the discipline of tracking marketing effectiveness is certainly improving. Uh, but you know, we're often held up uh, comparing, say, advertising with DM or mass media with the internet, and there does, you know, there tends to be the shift towards the things that are more measurable because uh, it's easier to tell the story internally if you've got some numbers to support the case. Um, and I, you know, Steve mentioned the idea that, that it, first of all, you have to have faith, and I think the reality is that. Um, faith only takes you so far in terms of getting the outcomes that both the client and the agency are looking for these days. Uh, it needs to be faith uh, balanced with, I think, a pretty decent degree of rigor and I think a, a shared view in terms of what the desired outcome is, and I'll speak to that in just a minute, but um, I think the other, the other piece of it I wanted to, uh, to speak to, I should probably wrote my class, I shouldn't have, um, that, oh, that's good, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, that I think often the, the, the focus on creative tends not to be part of the dialogue when you're talking about um, what you're anticipating in terms of the return on your marketing spend. And I think the idea that, that creative can be, uh, you want to go to the next slide, Wendy? Sorry. Good. Um, and yeah, bring down the, 